Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today I've got a great beginner tutorial for you, so if you're completely new to the Bitcoin space, you'll leave knowing how to get started with cryptocurrency using a really cool mobile wallet. I'm going to show you two different mobile wallets that are widely available and uh, have a couple different properties that are important for people getting started out. So there are two things that we want to look for in a mobile wallet software. The first is we simply want something that's easy to use. Uh, we want a nice clean user interface that makes it easy to send and receive cryptocurrency in the currency of your choice and uh, be able to do that without a whole lot of technical knowledge. The second thing is really important. We want a wallet where you, the user, control the private keys. These private keys are used to store your funds and uh, prove to the world that you own some funds that you want to spend. There are other popular mobile wallets out there from exchanges like Coinbase where the exchange actually sort of holds your funds in escrow for you like a bank would. We want something where you actually completely own your funds because Bitcoin is digital cash and we want it to behave that way. So the first wallet I'll show you how to use is the Bitcoin.com wallet. This wallet supports Bitcoin Cash, BCH, and Bitcoin BTC. So to get started with this one, we'll start out by installing the app on your phone uh, using the application store of your choice. For Android, Google Play has this available and the app store on iOS. This app is totally free for you to use and it's actually open source as well. So next, you'll go ahead and start up the wallet and you'll see a, a little bit of information that says the wallet is being created for you. Next, you'll see your BCH and BTC wallet on the screen. And so you'll just go ahead and select one of those to open up. Both of these are gonna sit, share the same seed backup phrase that we we'll use to secure our funds and make sure that they're backed up in the event something happens to our phone. So next you're going to go to the little settings cog at the top of the screen and scroll down to backup. Here you can select to backup your wallet. And what you'll see on the screen is a 12 word backup phrase or seed. If you're not super familiar with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, this is a really cool feature. This seed allows your wallet to generate all the private keys and addresses that control your money. The private keys are used to prove that you own some amount of funds sent to an address when you want to spend them, and the addresses are derived from the private keys using this sort of one-way function. So this is really secure and useful. You can write down this backup phrase and regain access to your funds at any time if you lose your phone, uh, or you accidentally uninstall the app, or something like that. Now it's really important to note that this backup phrase is absolutely secret. Anyone that has this phrase has access to all of your money, so make sure you write it down and store it somewhere secure. Also, if you're following along with this tutorial, make sure that you don't write down the seat phrase that's shown on the screen. This is just an example for the purpose of this tutorial, and anyone that's seen this could steal your funds if you tried to use this seed in another wallet. Now next, your wallet is already backed up, which is the most important thing, and all you need to do is click request or receive to get an address that you can use to send money to. So in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, unlike a credit card number, which you give to a merchant and they pull funds from your account, an address is something that you send money to. So you can give this address to a friend who wants to send you some Bitcoin to get you introduced to it, or if you're using something like an exchange, you can send money from the exchange wallet to your wallet so that you actually control your own money. This is the sort of flow that I use. Um, I like to buy various cryptocurrencies on Coinbase because it's pretty easy to use for purchasing, but I wanna make sure I control my own funds, and so I always send anything that I bought on Coinbase to my mobile wallet that I control. Now another wallet that I'll show you how to install and set up is the Coinomi wallet. This is a really cool multi-asset wallet that supports hundreds of different cryptocurrencies, including the big four that I talk a lot about, which is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, 
Litecoin, and Ethereum. So with this one, when you open up the app for the first time, you'll see an option to create or restore a wallet. We're going to want to go ahead and create a new wallet for this tutorial. Now you'll see a 24 word backup phrase on the screen. And the same as with the Bitcoin.com wallet, if you wanted to use that, you're going to want to write down this backup phrase and store it somewhere secure. This will mean that if anything happens to your phone, you still have access to all of your funds. And once again, this is completely private. Make sure you don't share it with anybody and uh, don't use the example shown on the screen. Next, since this is a multi-asset wallet, it's going to ask you to actually select the coins that you want to use. So depending on what other wallets you use or what assets you want to store, just pick those now. You can add or remove uh, sub wallets later, so don't worry about getting all the currencies you might want to play with at this stage. Once you have your coin selected, your wallet is ready to go. So you can choose the coin that you want to work with, for example, Litecoin. And to get your address, there's a couple different formats that currencies have adopted over the years. So if you're not quite sure which one to use uh, when a sender like an exchange or your friend asks you for your address, you can select compatibility, which is generally a safe bet. There's also legacy, which is usually the oldest form of address for a particular cryptocurrency, like Litecoin or Bitcoin, which has changed address formats over time. So that is how to get set up with a nice, safe and secure mobile wallet where you control your own digital cash. As always, there's a text article on the website that accompanies this video. And thank you very much for listening.